Well, it's the FA Cup. Anything can happen, as, as you rightly you know. The amount of football cliches we're going to get through this afternoon. But it is the FA Cup. It is an away fixture for Moors. And well, looking at the pitch this afternoon, it doesn't look like it's in the best condition. So it'll be a tough encounter for Moors. And expecting them to win this afternoon, but of course that doesn't always happen in the FA Cup. They make two changes from last weekend. Out team, we've got Andrew Johnson and Stephen Brogan both are injury. In come Dan Ward and Chris Mays makes his first start since April 2018. Just gets through to his man before Taylor can nip it away and has to look confident in possession at the minute. And just near side to Clee, just short of the halfway line. Up. The ball is intercepted by Ramshaw on the halfway line. A little chip ball looking for Taylor who looks like he might have stayed on side. Keeper's come out. Not oh, again. Go Taylor on. will shoot and that's get 1 0. Easy as you like from Glenn Taylor who beat the offside trap. I think it was the Ashton right back, might have been the right centre back. Playing him on side, had a little chip ball forward from Ramshaw. Keep come out, didn't look like he's ever really going to get there. So they could nip it past him and volley it in left footed into an empty net. One hill spending more. Brad Mason gets something on it, the captain up towards Ramshaw, unchallenged can head on towards halfway and actually have it back. With Wilson just short of the centre circle inside the Ashton half. Ball forward on the ground towards Cleves, getting forward well in his one on one. Curtis plays it wide right to slew, edge of the penalty area, cuts inside and then outside of Curtis and cuts back inside again and oh. then gets across towards the back post, it's chested down for a shot to come in, it's a good save by Matt Gould, rebound is blocked and the second is blocked again oh, by Ramshaw. Oh that's Ramshaw. fantastic defending. Absolutely scrambled, not cleared yet, edge of the penalty area with slew on this near side for Ashton, he's got three spin more players around him, Magnet trying to get a foot in now, Robert trying to get a foot in and Roberts does really well to win it back and it's down the line and Taylor does really well to win possession off of uh, Wilson and keeps being in possession, but not for long. Little ball down towards Slew, but Slew looked offside, so he leaves this and Roundhill got on the end of it instead. Plays it off Chandler, and there's a throw in for Ashton. Full back, but the referee's happy with him. He throws it into Slew, turns the ball. I'm sure the ball's going to foot in up towards Taylor, but that's intercepted again and now. It's with Rowney for the home side. Little clip ball forward, looking to put the penalty area. He'll get there first, and it's an equaliser. It's Angel, I think, with the equaliser. It is. It's a lovely chip ball forward, straight down the middle. Angel got in between the two centre backs, gets a good touch on it and strikes firmly past Matt Gould for an instant equaliser. After just nine minutes, it's already Ashton Ward spending more one. Hunt. Slows the game down a bit, plays it into the centre circle. And chip ball down the left hand side, looking for Angel, the goal scorer, who will get a good touch on it as well. He's one on one with Magda, gets across into the back post, it's over Mason's head across face to go off the post and somehow it's cleared away before it falls to Jordan Slew, who was so close to the ball yet couldn't get anything on it and Chandler can clear from underneath his own crossbar. The ball forward and then it's by down the left hand side, another good touch on Angel, getting forward well, oh, beats on. Curtis into the penalty area, he comes, he's sprinting forward Angel, cuts it back, it's got to be, it is, it's 2-1, inside a six yard box, final touch there I think came off of Stephen Thames. And after Spennymore had the perfect start, they find themselves after 16 minutes, 2-1 down. Good move again for Mangal on this near side though. Great play down this left-hand side. I think Carl Magnier was out of position and that allowed the space down the left-hand side for Nangel. Now Curtis got a bit of time as well to bring the ball forward. Ramshaw making the run forward, but instead he goes into down Water Side Senate Circle. And a man chased him down. It's a good pass out to Ramshaw if he'll get there first. Keepers come out again, not going to get there. Ramshaw can oh. shoot, keeper saves, bounce it back to Ramshaw. Get it, oh, oh. he's wide at the far post. Golden chance, Ramshaw's at such a tight angle. He rounds to the goalkeeper, the keeper then tried to get sort of back on it and Ramshaw inside a six yard box, a little toe poke, just goes past the far post. That man Angle's going to take his corner from the Ashton left, will be an in swing with the right foot, it's a poor ball. In fact, Shannon can clear to edge the area, Ramshaw can pick it up to Roberts, can more to keep possession from it. Roberts back into his man and into Chandler, good play up towards McKenna who leads it because he would have been offside and Ramshaw can sprint forward, into the penalty area goes Rob Ramshaw, can he get a shot away? He can, oh it's saved by the goalkeeper and a rebound before Ramshaw played his force wide. He pulls it back to Dan Ward, 30 yards from goal, will he try a shot, cuts inside of his man and then lays it off to Taylor who will try a shot and that's blocked. But Moore's keep possession inside the Ashen half with Magne. Magne square to Chandler. And then Ward is there trying to turn back into danger and so Ashen play it down the line looking for Slew trying to get past Curtis. He's done so and then uh, and then takes back, cross comes in, it's deflected by Buddle and Curtis can clear away. To Robert, so Robert has got space here to run into and play it into Ben McKenna. It's, it's right, three or three at the minute. No chip ball looking for Ramshaw. He's beaten off side trap, I think. He has caught the penalty area far side. Surely Rob Ramshaw's got a score. Lake about the goal. Yes! 2 2. Ramshaw gets the goal. He undoubtedly deserves. Shouts off side in the Ashton defence. It would have been a tight one, but Ramshaw played on. The referee did blow his whistle. 
on the spinning ball left and he comes into the penalty area and just side foots it with his right foot into the keeper's bottom left corner on the stroke half time. Spain will have a leveller. Kind of get foot in and then a bit clearance up towards Roberts. He's got time and space in Roberts. Plays down the ball looking for Taylor, who's definitely on side. He'll get there first as well, Taylor. 20 yards of goal, the sorry, now cutting inside. At the penalty area comes Ben Taylor. Runs past one, cuts past two into Ramshaw the pattern out wide from Mr. McKenna's. Three in the box here for Spenny Moore. Corner penalty area, now down to byline. Crossed in towards the back post. There's two there, one from Robert, pulls back to Taylor, shoots yes! it in! Well, you wanted to start the first, second half, you wanted the first half. It's the exact same stats Taylor scored as well. And Taylor gets the second off. of the game. I'll tell you what, Roberts has done exceptionally well to keep that ball in play. It looked to be chucking out of the byline. He just keeps it in play. Dinks it back to Taylor with a first time finish. No giant killing here today, please. Balls with Thompson. Square to Hunt inside the action half. Now that wide right for this near side to Haffern. His pass is intercepted by Ramshaw, who nips it away very quickly. The play looking for Taylor. Keepers come out again, oh. not to get there. Taylor will try and lob him, and he's put oh. it wide. Golden chance for Taylor's hat trick. The amount of times Allison's come out of his goal too quickly has been too many to count. It's Spain will have that throw, just into Roberts, called the penalty area, a little flick to find Magne, he's in behind, low cross in towards Chandler, who shoots, it's off the line towards McKenna, who will shoot again over the bar, oh, oh, as he missed that. from six yards, he volleys it, he gets underneath the ball and it goes over the top. He's just put too much on it. Oh, he can't quite play out while left Taylor, he would have been in, a good attempt from Roberts, he saw it, but he couldn't quite execute it, and now Ashton can break, on his near side with Thames. On the halfway line, plays a fantastic oh, pass through on. ball. Into Curtis in the bottle. Shot comes in. What a save that is for Matt Gould. From Angel's shot, it was heading for Gould's top left corner, and he jumps up and pushes it behind. In for Ashton, jogging forwards as, at the minute is Wilson. Just short of centre circle, plays it long, looking for Slew, trying to get him behind Curtis. Curtis oh. doesn't get someone on it, will fall to Slew, who can shoot off the post. Oh. The second time of the game, he hit the post, Ashton. Slew's shot, hit Gould's left-hand post, and they try and break, and they end up giving the ball away, and it's hoofed out of play in the end for a spending wall throw. Trying to get his left foot on that and clear the ball, but Gould shouted, no, I'll have that, there's no one around him. Four fourth for the keeper as well towards Taylor. Now to Robert down towards McKenna, who's one on one the goalkeeper. The square to Taylor, who's got an open goal, and yes. that's Patrick. And that's surely... See, we'll see Spenny Wall through to the next round of the cup. Really good play from the goalkeeper. You mentioned how good his, his goalkeeping was, but it's fantastic ball forward. It's gone virtual to the edge of the penalty area towards Glenn Taylor, who knocked it back to, to Roberts, and he played a little ball over the top for McKenna, who stays on the side. And very unselfish, well McKenna can square it as the keeper came running out to Taylor, who can slot into an empty net for his hat trick. Top Slew getting there. Now to McKenna. McKenna will leave it for Chandler, and he just gets that pass back to McKenna. McKenna can then turn again a bit of. Confidence there, and there's a long ball forward towards Taylor who's onside. He'll get ahead of the goalkeeper again. Hey! Keeper brings him down. It's got to be a penalty. It is. This time, the keeper doesn't get away with it. It is a penalty. It'll be interested to see what happens to the keeper. But you're right, Taylor's going to take it. He wants his fourth of the game. Going to be right footed. It's a short run up. Here he comes. It's a good save oh. for the keeper. Roberts on the follow up over the top. Ashton still have a bit of belief. It stays at 4-2. They lost another ball from Robert's clearance. Good Dear man, the referee, why is he not off to the keeper? It's, it's a good question. Why is the keeper... Oh, Ooh. McKenna's won it back from a, from, from a loose pass. It's great to Robert, Robert edge of the D. Robert has to hurry to get his. Now plays it into Taylor. Taylor slips before he shoots. And now he does shoot and there's his fourth. Well, that surely is the game. That surely is spending more into the fourth qualifying round of the cup. Glenn Taylor gets his fourth. He missed a penalty just a few moments ago. Sloppy defending. And this could be the end of Rashford. It could turn into a rout at this moment. Glenn Taylor, six goal in the FA Cup this season. Still hasn't <laughs> played a full 90. And getting the third goal, not committing to him. And forward, breaking on the counter, getting the fourth. Then to get the fifth, to just really kill this game off. And Ashton haven't looked, sorry. Yeah, Ashton haven't looked to threat at all in the second half. And here they come again. again. It's Adam Boyd's a good, good uh, play path forward. Adam Boyd is 3 1 in the middle. Pulled across to Anderson, and that is goal number six. Inside a six yard box. An easy finish in the end for Mark Anderson. It's good at interplay inside the Ashton half, and suddenly it was 3 1 with Adam Boyd's 
coming down the right hand side he pulls it back and it was only one of two or three in the middle to put the final touch on it really lose possession to boys and saying he's own penalty area and now Roberts pressing there's press still carrying on and that is a full-time whistle well at one point we thought the cup up the cup upset might be on but spenny more had such a fantastic second half Glenn Taylor scoring four and in the end it was a very very much deserved result